My fellow Hawks, on behalf of our department, I want to take a few moments to reach out and to connect with you. The last couple of weeks have been unlike anything any of us have ever experienced or been a part of. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. A SARS-like virus which has infected hundreds in China has now reached the United States. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. State by state, residents now being ordered to stay indoors. Tweeted within the past two minutes is that the NBA is a new name as the coronavirus. The World Health Organization has officially called it with COVID-19. COVID this afternoon, the NCAA announced that its men's and women's basketball tournaments have been canceled. Not postponed, canceled. In 2020, we played our last game. We lost in a buzzer beater, and then we got sent home like four days later. And the moment we got sent home, we were immediately like on the phone, like talking in like leadership groups and doing team bonding and movie nights and trying to reach out to the new freshmen coming in. Then finally, when we came back in the fall semester, we found out that we weren't going to have a season, but we were allowed to practice a couple times a week and we were ready to take full advantage of that. I walk in and there's four of those freshmen that you mentioned were in the gym shooting. So it was like, wow, like they're really, uh, you know, they are as eager as they were all year long, and that was part of what I think helped a young team, in spite of, the, you know, other than the four seniors we had, really grow up fast, was they were eager learners. We uh, came in every day trying to be as competitive as we can. Like, we knew that there was nothing to play for, but, like, we were just as excited. We were bringing that competitive atmosphere, and we just knew that, like, eventually the day would come that we would have a game, and we were just preparing for that. I think the team overall is really excited to get into the season uh, and ready to start playing. Uh, but at the same time, like we were saying, there's it's new and we don't know what to expect. It is like a, you know, two years in the making type of season, which is nothing that any of us have ever ex really experienced before. So like my expectation to the team is like every day when we walk in this gym is to hold each other to a really high standard, have a really competitive practice with a lot of urgency, a lot of communication, like just for it to be loud so that we can reach our goals at the end of the year that we've set. Every game that we play is a big game. We try to schedule our non-conference to be the, the most competitive that we can possibly put together. Even for the teams that, you know, whatever team may be, you know, the bottom of our, of our league in a given year, the game against New Paltz is still their biggest game of the year. So we're getting their best shot. The expectations are, are to go out there and, and you know, be the, the, the best team that this team can, can possibly be and we'll see where that actually takes us when you stack it up against the rest because you know, it, it ultimately winning and losing is relative to a lot of other people and I don't know what they're doing, I don't even know what we look like let alone what a bunch of other people who haven't played, you know, most of who haven't played either so um, obviously a lot of uncertainties and unknowns and we just are going to go as you know, cliche as it is, just go try to worry about ourselves and and um, I think that there's going to be plenty to concern ourselves with there. <laughs>